We need this processed immediately. Um, there's a system. I'm on my break. I've got a few tests ahead of yours. I'll get to it later. My brother is not going to die because you have to take a break. Sir, we have procedures here. God damn it. A procedure. Do it now. Monty, may I, may I call you Monty? Yes. I'm Dr. Devane, and you're going to have to forgive Mr. Gray here. Excuse me. His brother, you see, is my patient over at Seaview Hospital. He's in a coma, and it is critical that Colby Martin cell be tested as soon as possible. I'm sure you understand the urgency of the matter, do you? Why didn't you say so? Well, I'm sorry, I didn't get the chance. Um, now, Dr. Jake Martin has signed these. I think he's authorized it. It looks like everything is fine. I'll get to it right away. Thank you. I do appreciate it. I know you're on your break. How long will it take? As long as it takes. Fine. Thank you. Uh, can I help you? Yes, I'm sure you can. I'm Adam Chandler. Chandler, like, in this wing of the hospital? Yes. Holy moly, this is an honor. Well, the honor is mine. It's people like you that have earned this wing its reputation. Well, I wish everybody had your respect for my work and our work. Well, I hate to interfere in your work, but I, a, a reporter from one of my newspapers told me that I should come in and check on your research. Oh, cutting edge stuff, sir. Yeah, really? I, I'd love to hear more. You know what? I, I'm particularly interested in this uh, stem cell uh, therapy. Oh, well, this is the nerve center, sir. That door leads into the room where the stem cell samples are kept in a cryogenically frozen state. Aha. Uh -huh. What about the, uh, the test? Oh, well, this computer? I call it Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> this is where we keep the personal information on the test cell donors and the stem cell donors. I okay, see. for example, I just got a stat order. That means a rush, right, to uh, run a DNA test on one of the donors. Now, I'm almost done putting in all the relevant information, and when Lucille processes it, then the testing will begin. That's fantastic. You know, I would love to call one of my reporters and photographer right now. I have them come over here. Or would that be possible? They, they wouldn't interfere. They would just uh, observe and ask a couple of questions. So, will my picture be in the paper? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Listen, while I'm making the phone call, why don't you go freshen up a bit? Uh, you have a little uh, pudding. Oh. I'll be right back. <laughs> Mr. Chandler? I'm ready for my close-up now. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Sorry, it took so long. Bad hair day. <clears throat> so do I look okay? Uh, you look great. Great. So uh, when did the reporter and the photographer get here? Actually, we're going to have to postpone the interview. We are? Yes, they, uh, they're on a fast-breaking story on the other side of town. The mayor called a press conference to show his appendectomy scar. Dr. Hayward, was there anything you needed? Uh, Dr. Hayward and I are catching up here. He's... Uh, he's uh, just telling me how valuable what you do here is. Yes? Yes. Absolutely. Well, uh, didn't you tell me that this was just a storage facility, Dr. Hayward? Well, but it's an art, the way you keep th th all of those things right at the right temperature. Mm, more of a science, actually. Or business with very anxious clients. So if you gentlemen will excuse me for a second, I need to... Uh... Get a sample out to a messenger. I'll wait. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask you about procedure. No problem. So, David, how's your uh, mother enjoying married life? Oh, Vanessa's busy spending Palmer's money just as fast as she can get her hooves on his credit cards. <laughs> okay, I'm done. So, what else did you want to know, Mr. Chandler? Monty? Sorry, I'm on my break. I'm Liza Colby Chandler. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, good morning. Oh, hi. Yeah. Uh, thank you for agreeing to meet me. <laughs> you you own a TV station, don't you? Yes, I do. And I understand you were the lab technician that was responsible for my daughter's stem cells being transferred to Seaview Hospital. That's what we do here at the Stem Cell Lab. In fact, I'm sure a lot of your viewers would be very interested in just how things work here. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, actually, I'm very curious as to why David Hayward's name was the doctor that authorized the transfer. Oh, uh, Dr. Hayward was the doctor of record. <laughs> actually, the doctor of record was Jake Martin. Oh, well, um, many doctors often are involved with many cases. In fact, I can remember one case when... Oh, I some... bet you can. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know why David Hayward's name was on the transfer paper. I would assume that uh, he decided to do a rush job. Did he tell you that? Actually, no. Um, huh, funny enough, it, it wasn't him. I remember. <laughs> you know who it was? Actually, I don't. That's why I'm asking you. <laughs> it was your husband. Adam Chandler gave me Dr. Hayward's order. Adam Chandler? Adam was here. My husband, Adam Chandler, was, was here. And he told you that David Hayward issued orders expediting my daughter's stem cells to Seaview Hospital. They were to be used for um, uh, Dimitri Merrick. I had seen the orders. They were written down. I saw them already. Uh, from David Hayward? No, from Dr. Jake Martin. I didn't see a problem. Well, of course not. You would have no idea that my husband was dead set against this procedure from the very beginning. Really? Yes, really. So you're telling me that Adam, not David Hayward, issued orders expediting my daughter's transfers of the stem cell. Yes. So essentially you took orders from Adam Chandler, who was not a doctor, who had no business being here. Monty, that's a big problem. Uh, Mrs. Chandler, you have to understand, everything looked like it was on the up and up. Mr. Chandler said that he was going to send a reporter and a photographer over and that he wanted to have me interviewed. Oh, wow. <laughs> I see. Now, did anyone show up? Did anyone ever actually get here? Um, no. It was postponed. You see, Monty, my husband's a very persuasive man. He never hears the word no. Actually, he, he probably doesn't ever even see the word no, except when it comes from me. Yes, ma'am. So I completely understand how you became an unwitting participant in this little scenario. Mrs. Chandler, I really love my job. No, 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 you're not in trouble. I just need to understand the events that led up to the transfer of my daughter's stem cells and my husband's role in it. Well, you know, this is the Chandler wing. No, I know that, and he's quite proud of that. <laughs> in fact, he's very hands-on. I'm sure he wanted to know all about how this lab works, didn't he? Yeah, he was very interested. But I should really get back to it now, so uh, if you'll excuse me. I I'll tell you what. <laughs> we won't talk about Adam Chandler anymore. Let's just talk about you. I mean, you've been doing this for a long time, right? Phlebotics, stem cells? For several years, yes. Well, that's great. So you know everything there is to know about the shipping and storing and saving of these precious specimens. Well, of course I do. It's my job. <laughs> great. So why don't you tell me, in all the years you've worked here and in all the other labs, how many parents have you met of stem cell donors? Parents? Yes, just how many? Five, ten? Um, I... I can't say. That many? No, <laughs> I never met any before, actually, until Mr. Chandler, but I didn't know that he was Colby Martin's father. Are we done? Actually, I have a few more questions, Monty, and then I'll have everything I need. Let's get back to David Hayward. How many times has he expedited a transfer of stem cell specimens? Um, I'm not sure. I, I work with a lot of physicians. Oh, really? But you've worked with him before regarding stem cells. Well, I can check Lucille. That's the computer. <laughs> I'll just run a search on his name, and I'll tell you the exact number of times I've had one of his cases. Okay. Huh. What? Once. This time. Isn't that unusual? That the only time that Dr. Hayward has ever dealt with stem cells is during the transfer of this particular procedure he allegedly authorized the transfer via adam chandler well when you put it that way uh 
does sound unusual. <laughs> okay, Monty, this is terribly important. I need to know everything that happened from the moment that my husband walked in the door. Everything that you told him about stem cells, including their testing, any procedures for shipping, anything that you might think of, including directions to the men's room. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Okay. I, okay, okay, I was, uh, I was sitting at my desk, and um, I was uh, sitting here, and I was eating some chocolate pudding, and um, then uh, the door opened, and I looked up, and huh, there was Adam Chandler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Continue. And they were here? No. Um, I came in. Uh, man? Yes. <laughs> and, um... Adam Chandler was here, and Dr. Haywood was there. And they were here alone? Uh, yes. And, um, that's when Mr. Chandler told me that we would have to postpone the interview. And David Haywood was here, and Adam was here? Yes, uh, Mr. Chandler was, uh, saying that they were just getting caught up, and that Dr. Haywood was, well, he had been complimenting me, <laughs> which was really a surprise. Because the two of you had never worked together. Well, no, I always thought that he hated my guts. Um, he generally just sort of looks right through me. And then what? Well, then I had to get back to work. And Adam stayed. Yeah, he, he said that he had more questions for me about lab procedures. And then what happened next? Okay, um, I, I went into the storage room to retrieve the cold storage pack with the sample. Can you show me that? Yeah. Now? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And, and, and what, what were Adam and, and Dr. Hayward doing while you were doing this? I think they were chatting. About what? I really wasn't paying that much attention. Um, should I continue? Yes, please, absolutely. And then I put the pack with, with the specimen in it uh, into the out bin, which was right here, for delivery. And and Adam and David Hayward were here during all of this? Yes, ma'am. And uh, I don't know what else I can tell you. <laughs> I don't know either. But I know that there's something else. Mrs. Chandler, I really should get this specimen back into the storage. Oh, no, please. You've given me a great deal of your time. I'm sorry for bothering you. No, that's no problem. I usually don't get very many visitors back here anyway. <laughs> are you Are you sure that there's nothing else? I can't think of anything else. Um, except for the fire drill. What fire drill? Well, it... It was more like a, a false alarm. Uh, the fire department issued the all clear. And Adam was here? Yeah. You know, he was very, very concerned about the sample. Is there another vial with my daughter's stem cells in storage? No, no. This is the only one. <laughs> See? Colby Martin. 125 cc sealed? That would mean that it's completely full. Auntie, how can that be when you use some of it for Dimitri Merrick? I... Uh, I can't imagine. I sure as hell can. Stay tuned for scenes from the next All My Children.